Uh, hi, my name is Paul Fernandez. Uh, I'm currently working as a junior NEC supervisor on Tideway Central. Hope you're all doing well during this current lockdown period. And uh, this is a uh, Chelsea Embankment foreshore. I've been to site fairly regularly. Uh, I've spent my time so far between Chelsea and Cremorne. So as a junior supervisor, we kind of just go on site whenever there's inspections. The sites are progressing fairly quickly actually. I wouldn't say it's slowed down. Health and safety and restrictions are still maintained with social distancing. We're still managing to put out a good volume of work. Here at Chelsea there's a shaft that is roughly 44 metres deep with two vortex chambers. And there's a connection tunnel between the shaft and the main tunnel that's roughly 53 metres long. Adjacent to the shaft, there is an interception chamber that is intercepting two flows within the interception chamber. They have just completed the penstocks and flat valves for the lower section. Uh, my name is Joe Goodrich. I'm a site engineer working at Chelsea Embankment, I'm currently in the interception chamber. Our main goal in the IC um, is to divert uh, the flow of a live sewer and intercept an, uh, a connection tunnel from an overflow weir chamber that is going to be constructed from our north site. And so recently we have constructed the penstock wall, which is the first penstock wall on Tideway Central. So the importance of the penstock wall is to, um, is to control the flow of the sewage that is coming from the connection tunnel from our overflow weir chamber. We poured an upstand for the penstock um, and basically what that did was we poured to the underside of the box outs, the, the large door openings, um, and then we levelled that concrete off and then we sat the boxes on top and then poured the main point stock in two hits. We were allowed a verticality or a plumb tolerance of three mil over the full seven metre height, um, which is where the casting frame finishes, which is at this level. Uh, in terms of rotation, again, we were allowed five mil um, over the 4.4 metre width of the wall um, and then a, a positional, a, a quite a normal positional tolerance of 10 to 15 mil. The verticality was the most important thing and to ensure this what we did was when we cast the outer walls um, we cast them with sort of nibs um, using like a plywood uh, as we put the shutters in, um, we, we created a stop end around the, around the opening, around the construction joint, um, and then we offset that nib slightly to ensure that we've got a bite for our shutters to go on. The reason for the tolerances is if they're out of verticality, there is a, like a shear on the, um, on the penstock as it opens and closes, and the design life of it can reduce to half if we don't achieve the tolerance. It's amazing to see just the size and scale of the permanent works and it's all starting to really take shape on site here. Once again, I hope you're all doing well during this, these trying times and I hope to see you on site again soon.